I'm Zach from Tuscan Toys, and today we're going to be reviewing the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge exclusive Black Series Smuggler's Run 3-pack. So here we have the packaging of the Smuggler's Run 3-pack. As you can see, we've got Porgs on deck, we got Chewie, we got Ray, we got Hondo Onaka. He's the main event. He's the main event here, main attraction. And here you can see the back. Um, you can read those, pause and read it if you want to. I'm not going to go over it. There you can see the price. <clears throat> yep. $69.99. They got me, boys. Hook, line, and... Oh, my Jesus. Hook, line, and stinker. They got me. Now, let's open it up. I'll show you inside. Whoop. There they are all in the package. You can see Hondo. You can see Ray. You can see Chewie. Now, all of these... Oh, shit. You can see me. Oh, my God. All of these are just repacks except for hondo and the porgs now you might be wondering why would a person spend um 70 dollars on two repacks in one single figure and then why would another person why would that same person do it twice and get the droid set also with just a single new figure well i'll tell you because i'm a big time dork and I don't respect myself. But this is a cool set. I'm happy with this. I don't like either of these two figures, and we'll get into it. Um, but I think, man, this Hondo and Naka, dude, he's so good. I wish they would have put these on a single card. Like, I, man, it bums me out that they didn't. But you know what? I understand the logic. I understand why they didn't do that. Um, because kids want to go there. They want to buy a three-pack. But they should have put it on. They should have put this and the DJ Rex on a single card. Like, come on. You know? Maybe kids wouldn't buy that. Maybe it would be a, a sunk cost. But, jeez. Oh, man. I'm bummed I spent that much money, dude. But let's crack these babies open and take a look. So we're going to start off with the main event here. Uh, the main attraction. I feel like... Of course, you got to start off with the man of the hour, Hondo Naka. This is what everybody's going to be buying this pack for. If anybody buys this pack, it's going to be for this guy. Um, and this is a good figure. I was a little bit surprised by some of the things, and we'll get into it. But man, this is what exactly what I wanted, I think. It's got a nice little cloak there. It comes with a gun. He's looking real fresh. Now, this is his appearance from um, uh, Smuggler's Run, the ride at Disneyland, um, where he has a full animatronic. It's very cool looking. Um, and then he talks to you on the ride as a little video call. Um, and I'm not sure what the difference is between this Hondo Anaka and the one on Clone Wars. Now, what's weird about this guy is uh and it's weird at, at disneyland too it's weird at galaxy's edge um what's weird about this guy is that in star wars rebels um hondo anaka was an old man like he was a really old man he was a geezer and then star wars galaxy's edge is supposed to be like i think like 40 years later and he's back to his old outfit from Clone Wars you know what I mean it's just a little bit weird but whatever I think this figure is so cool like first of all I don't know if I would have gotten a Hondo Inaka if it was just on its own um if it was just like here's the one from Clone Wars I mean he's a cool figure but you know I think what sells it for me is that he's an animatronic at Galaxy's Edge I think that that's so neat and it's so cool to own a figure of that so let's go over articulation with this guy now let's start with the head hondo can tilt his head that much not very far 
he can move his head back about to there so that's not very good it's hindered by the hair piece here as you can see he can look down again not very far he's got these things and then he's also got his coat uh, his arms come out to there to 90 he can go all the way around his elbows go back that much go like that all the way around there's an up and down hinge at the at the trigger here and then here it's not up and down uh, for the midsection now this is a little weird Hondo has a ball joint up here at the upper torso which usually they they reserve for female characters but um, Hondo is an exception um, he can go he can crunch that far so not much at all he can't go back very far because well actually that's not bad uh, but it is hindered by his coat he can squish that much and then his legs again hindered by both the coat and his holster here this leg doesn't really go out well, it's not bad but it doesn't go out that far um, and you also you can't like rotate it around um, but for this leg it goes out almost to 90 um, if, it, if this coat's not in the way I think it does go up to 90 um, not quite but pretty close um, his leg goes back oh, can it go in a circle okay it can his knee he has double jointed knees if they don't get hindered by the trench coat they he can go all the way back which is very nice even with the trench coat it's not that bad the trench coat doesn't get in the way too much it's a very it's a very soft thing so you can move it, you can manipulate it enough um, down here his foot goes all the way around goes up that much goes back that much as you can see for accessories Hondo he's got like a kind of sinister look here doesn't he for accessories Hondo just comes with his blaster now let's see how that looks in his hand Whoop. and it fits nicely I don't know if you can fit it in this hand let's find out Okay, you can, but he doesn't have a trigger figure, finger for this hand, which I guess Hondo is left-handed. We found that out. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this figure. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like. It's a pretty good figure, and I wasn't sure what the quality would be like on this guy, just because he is, you know, a theme park exclusive figure. So I wasn't sure if they were going to go all out with the quality or what, but very happy with this I like it Hondo stands just mm, just a little bit over six inches it looks like with the hat he's not super tall um, for size comparison here he is next to the best figure ever a Tuscan Raider and yeah they scale correctly no problems there here Hondo is next to an SH Figuarts Ray. If you want to fit that into your SH Figuarts display, that'll totally work. And the only other new figures in this pack are going to be these two little Porgs. Now, these things are super cute. We've only ever gotten the two Porgs in the two Porg pack. Black Series two Porg pack. But these are actually a different sculpt from the others. That's right. They're totally different. I'll show you the other ones we got. We got these two little guys. And that's those are different sculpts. Um, I will say that these porgs are very hard to stand up. But I like these porgs a lot better. The expressions are 
more interesting. I mean, this guy's kind of fun, but he doesn't have any articulation. He doesn't have any feet. Um, but these ones, you know, this is Sad Porg, the one that Chewie eats. Get these stupid little shits out of here. And this is, you know, the one that goes... Um, and yeah, I mean, these are fine. Let's look at the articulation, though. I'll go into the articulation a little bit. They can go up. I think they just go... I think they're a ball joint? Maybe? They must be? I think this is just a ball, and then it's just shoved in there. Like, I think that's how it works. Um, and yeah, they can go up about that far. They can go all the way around, as you can see. I think it's the same articulation on both. Oh my god, look at how hard this is to stand. But these are pretty cute. Like, I'm pretty happy with both of these. Like, you know, I like the two porgs I had before, and now I have these two other ones. And actually, you can see... Oh, shit. You can see the paint job on this guy. Can you see that? Can you see that? The paint job on this guy is a lot different from the other... The other two porgs we received before it's a lot less bright i keep dropping these porgs i swear to god but this guy has similar a similar paint job to this one so i don't know actually i think maybe this is the same kind of paint job you can't really see it on the camera but this one's a little bit darker and then in terms of the feet you know i guess these look the same so there you go. If you want to fit these porgs in, you can get two new porgs. I like these a lot. I'm happy with these. I think I like these more than the, the base two pack that you can get. But that's an entirely new sculpt, which I thought was cool. So the next figure in this pack is one that I'm definitely not happy with. Here we have the Ray. And man, she looks beat. Um, now, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same sculpt they had for the Ray from The Last Jedi. And it's really disappointing <laughs> that they wouldn't, like, update at least the face print tech. Like, I think this is... Maybe it's just a bad sculpt, but I'm pretty sure they don't have face print on this one. Um, and yeah, she just doesn't look good. She's not looking good. Um, what really irks me about this figure, though, too is this isn't even how Rey looks at Galaxy's Edge. She doesn't have this hairstyle. And what they could have done, which would have made more sense, is just put the face print Rey that they put out for the island journey Rey just on this head. Like, how hard would that be? Because um, that's that's the hair that the Rey at Galaxy's Edge has. But whatever. So, there you go. You man what a disappointment yeah um let's we'll just go into the comparison because you can you can look at reviews of the articulation elsewhere you you can see that anywhere but let's look at the comparison here she is next to i think probably the best ray you can currently own here she is next to island journey ray and yeah that figure i still think that might be the best ray you can own that's the best likeness of Daisy, Daisy Ridley by far. And here she is next to SH Figure Arts. Oh my god, she's about to cut off her head. SH Figure Arts Ray. Um, this one's not bad either. I think. So this one's definitely Daisy Ridley. There's not. Like, look at this. So here's the face print on the Island Journey Ray. And man, look at that likeness. That's definitely Daisy Ridley. There's not a doubt in my mind that that's Daisy Ridley right there. Um, and this one, you know, the Galaxy's Edge one, I guess the, the best thing you can say is maybe it looks like the actress that plays her in the parks. You know? Like, it's knockoff Ray just like, just like the, uh, the character performer in the park. So if you want a figure of that, there you go. You can have that. But then her hair is not even right whatever uh, and then yeah you have Kira Knightley Ray right here with the SH figure arts so focus whatever 
For accessories, this ray comes, of course, with her her stick, her Wacom stick. She comes with Luke's lightsaber, all right, which I guess is Ray's lightsaber now, Anakin's lightsaber, whatever. And the most troublesome thing, I think, is she comes with this blaster. Now, I've tried a few times now to get this blaster into this holster. You see that? But it doesn't want to go. Like, there's not... I don't think there's a chance I can get this blaster into this holster. So, whatever. You can't really use this blaster. You can have her hold it, I guess, and fire it. But it's... Good luck. Like, this is not... I don't know. Maybe they used... I'll take a look. They might have used the same sculpt for this blaster as the one they have for the island journey ray yeah it looks like the exact same sculpt see that but maybe it only fits in the island journey ray pouch and it doesn't fit in this pouch i don't know it's that's it's just so weird i've tried many times to fit that in and it doesn't i think this figure uh is upsetting honestly i feel like for 70 bucks you should be getting you should be getting a ray that at least, at the very least, can hold a blaster. And then it, it be, like, maybe not even get a new sculpt or a new face print. But, dude, just at least put the Island Journey ray head on. Because it's more accurate with the, the hair anyways. Whatever. This is... I don't like this figure. This figure is bad. I'm going to just throw it in my junk pile. So the last figure in this pack is Chewie. And, uh... I believe this is a reuse of the Force Awakens Chewbacca that came out. Uh, this is a just a, a reprint, <laughs> re reuse of the sculpt, reuse of the paint job. Um, and I didn't own this figure before, so I, now I guess I own it. Um, but man, this is a flat paint job. Like I'll, I'll compare it. We'll do a comparison to this one with. The uh, only other Chewbacca figure I own, which is the a New Hope Chewbacca, which you can see here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, and just look at the paint job on this thing. Like, that's, look, that's an impressive paint job, you know, right there. But then you get up to this thing and it just looks, I don't know, it just looks flat. Am I crazy? I just, I don't know. I just not like, I'm not digging it. Like, you compare these two and... This one looks more like Chewbacca. This one reads more like Chewbacca. Why, why are you doing this to me, camera? Um, and then you even get to the blasters. Like, this one has a like nice little gun metal gray. They obviously put a silver coat on it. And this is just flat black. Man, that's a bummer. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as Chewbacca figures go, this is, this is fine. This one is a little bit skinnier, which I like more. Um, so this one's going to stay on the shelf. Of course, I'm not going to put this Galaxy's Edge. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. It's just, if you if you don't have the Force Awakens thing, there you go. You have a Force Awakens Chewbacca now. So overall, would I recommend this set? No. There you go. End of review. No, I mean, look. This Hondo, he's cool. I like him a lot. The Porgs, I'm very happy to have two new Porgs to add to my collection but for 70 bucks man they could have put a little bit of effort into these two and that's kind of how i feel about all the three packs of galaxy's edge like they reuse the the kylo ren and uh well the kylo ren set is not that bad because you get two new figures that are not reuses or whatever repaints but not reuses um but yeah, these are just the same figures that are not even accurate to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So, poo-poo on you. Goodbye. Wait, no. We want you. You're our ch champion. You're our savior in all of this, Hondo. You get to stand up. And the Porgs, you know what? You got to give it up for the Porgs. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much the Porgs were. Were they 10 bucks when they came out? The, the two-pack of Porgs? So... We're looking at about, let's say, $20 for Hondo and $10 for the Porgs. Yeah, that's not worth the $70. 
Um, if you can get this on eBay, if you can just get the Hondo on eBay, which I don't think you'll be able to without paying, you know, 60 bucks, and then you'll already, you might as well just get the, the three pack on its own anyways. Um, I, he's a good figure. You know, I'm very happy with him. I like the Porgs a lot. Um, and there's also a little bit of misconception about how you get these figures. If you want to get this pack, you do not need a valid theme park uh, admission in order to get these um, these figures. They sell them at Disneyland uh, Downtown Disney, which does not require um, a theme park admission in order to get in. You can get in, get these figures at World of Disney there, get out uh, if you live in like oh, if you live in Southern California, that might be worth doing for you. I don't know. Um, depends on how much you want these figures but do not be afraid uh of it requiring theme park admission you just need to go to downtown disney in order to pick these up i again i can't recommend these like i like a hondo figure and this hondo figure is going on my shelf and i like these porgs but man 70 bucks jesus all right well goodbye see you later thank you for watching like, comment, subscribe, rate me five stars, uh, check me out on iTunes, look at my SoundCloud, um, go um, uh, 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 rate my MySpace. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.